Hey everyone, welcome back to daily tuition. In this tutorial, we will understand what is Ajax. Ajax is the most viable rich internet application technology so far. It is getting tremendous industry momentum and several toolkit and framework are emerging. So we will be getting started learning Ajax and learn how it works. And we will also take a very simple example to understand an Ajax. So we need to first understand what is Ajax. Ajax is an acronym that stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. And it describes a set of development techniques used for building website and web applications. Basically, the use of Ajax is to update web content asynchronously. It means a user web browser doesn't need to reload an entire web page when only a small portion of content on the page need to change. As mentioned above, the J in Ajax stands for JavaScript. It's used specifically to create, add, and manage dynamic website content. In other words, after markup language like HTML and CSS are used to build and display static web features like headers, font, and paragraph, JavaScript is then used to control features that require real-time updates while a visitor is viewing a page. The X in Ajax is XML, which stands for extensible markup language, while HTML and CSS focus on instructing how page content is displayed like paragraph, headers, font, and colors, XML is used to transfer a data on the web page to the browser that view it. Ajax uses XHTML for content, CSS for representation, along with the document object model and JavaScript for dynamic content display. Ajax is a web browser technology independent of web server software. A user can continue to use the application while the client program requests information from the server in the background. Ajax cannot work independently. It is used in combination with other technologies to create interactive web pages. Now let's understand how Ajax works. Ajax communicates with the server using XML HTTP request object. Now let's understand the flow of Ajax or how Ajax works. So here we have a user, browser and the web server. The web user interacts with the browser and requests data from the server. The server will call JavaScript XML HTTP request object. Then the browser will send the HTTP request to the web server. When the web server is interact with the database using server side languages like PHP, Python, SP.NET, etc. Using the server side languages, we will retrieve data from the database. Then this data is sent to the XML HTTP request callback function in XML, JSON or any other format. So when you have a data in the callback function, you can display them in the browser. Using the callback function, you can access retrieve data and display on the web page without reloading the complete page. This process is known as Ajax request. Comparing with the standard request, Ajax request is quicker and gets a request very quickly. Now let's understand how to create Ajax request using XML HTTP object. Let's consider the following example. In this example, we will get the data from the server without reloading the web page. Using the XML HTTP request object, we will get the data from the server. So as you know, data coming from the server will have been kind of any type. So we will just create a mimic of server and get the data from the JSON file, right? So let's get started. So in the Visual Studio code, we will just create a simple HTML file. So I will just go here and create a simple index.html file. In this file, I will just create a simple HTML5 snippet and just change the title to Ajax, right? Just after that, in the body section, I will just create a division tag. So I will just say div and specify class container, right? And in this division tag, I will create h2 heading tag and specify text using XML HTTP request object right just after that I will just 
create a button here. So I will just say button, type button and specify a class which is btn. Right, so this is my UI. Just after that, I will just create a script tag here to specify pure JavaScript code. Now here, I just wanted to select my button first. So I will just select btn is equal to document dot query selector to select my button and just specify dot because we are using query selector and say btn because this is a class right just after that i will just say btn dot add event listener we will just add click event to this button so the first parameter is gonna be a click event name and the second parameter is gonna be a handler function so here i will just say ajax call so we need to create this function before we call it right so here we'll just create this function so i will just say function ajax call right so we wanted to call this function when we click on this button right when we click on this button we need to call this function right now so in this function i will just create instance of the xml http request object right so i will just say instance of xml http request object so i will just create an instance of this object so i will just say constant x http is equal to new xml http request and specify parenthesis because this is a class right now just after that i just wanted to call the on ready state change property of the xml http request object the ready state change property is an event handler that is called whenever the ready state attribute is changed so i will just say x http I will just call the instance and call the property of on ready state change right so this is my property right so i will just call the handler function so i will just say function here and in this function i just wanted to create the if condition to check the response so when the state is changed i will just say if this dot ready state is equal to 4 and this dot status is equal to 200 then we'll execute this if statement right so here let me explain what is ready state and the status property of xml http request object so the ready state property will return 4 when the request is finished and response is ready and the status property is return 200 means ok when the response is ready right so when the request is finished and response is ready i just wanted to execute this if statement right so here i will just say console.log and say this dot response text so the response text property will get the response from the server right but first we need to create a mimic of server response so we will just create a json file to create a mimic of server response so here i will just create a file so i will just say response.json and in this file i will just and in this file i will just put some data of the user so i will just say curly braces and specify first property which is name and the name is daily tuition the second property is h is 25 oops i will just specify number so i will just say 25 and just say city the location of the channel is usa And the salary 
is in dollar 1000 right so this is just the mimic of server response i will just save this file and go to my index.html so now you will get this response in the response text property right so we will just print this response on the console just after that i just wanted to call the xml http request open method to initialize newly created request or an existing one right this method is initialize newly created request or existing one right so i will just say here x http dot open on the first argument i will just specify type of request so i will just say get here and on the second argument i just wanted to specify a url where we wanted to get the response so i just wanted to specify a file name here right so in the double quote i will say response.json right and just say true here for sync just after that i just wanted to send this request to the browser using send method we will send the request to the browser so i will just say x http dot send right so when you execute this example so i will just right click here and say open with live server oops i just wanted to specify text to my button so i will just say here get data and just right click here say inspect and open the console window now when you click on the get data without reloading this page we will get the data from the server so i will just click on this get data button right so you will get your data without reloading your page so when you click on this get data button you will get your response so now you have a response in json format now if you wanted to convert this json data into object then you can do that also so i will just show you how you can do that so here i will just create a variable so i will just select data is equal to and just after that i will call the json object right and call the method pass the pass method will convert the json data into an object so i will just specify here this dot response text right so this statement will convert the json data into javascript object now i just want to iterate this javascript object and print on the console what i will do is i will just call the for in loop so i will just say for let keys in data and just say console dot log and say here data keys right and save my document so when i click on the get data you will get your data on the console right so without reloading this page you will get your data from the server the ajax technology is very helpful when you are working with the database right so you can display this data on the document as well it's upon you where you wanted to display this data if you are new on this channel then don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't must press the like button if you find anything useful share this video with your friends that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture